Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are staying safe in your houses. And today in this video, what we're gonna make is a voice controlled home automation device using Google Assistant. So stay tuned. So what you're gonna make in this video is a home automation system that uses voice commands. Yes, it uses Google Assistant from your smartphone to take commands like turn on lights, fans, whatever you link it with. And we're gonna use a Node MCU in this project and not like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. So yeah. all you have to do is just ask your Google Assistant to do jobs like turn on the light, turn on the fan, turn off the light, whatever you ask it to, it will do. And you don't need any Alexa or any Google Home Hub or something of that sort to do this. You just need Google Assistant on your smartphone and a Node MCU and some relays and everything. Speaking of components, what you need is a bulb with a holder and a wire. You need a DC to AC relay pin. You need an AC pin without ground. You need some jumper cables, a Node MCU, and you need Google Assistant on your smartphone. There are four major steps that we have to follow while doing this project. The first step is installing the Arduino IDE and the Blink libraries. Blink is an app which will help us communicate the phone with the Node MCU. The second step will be configuring the Blink app. The third step is the hardware assembly. And the fourth step is configuring the IFTPT. If you already haven't, you have to download Arduino IDE. The link for download will be in the description. And also you have to install the ESP8266 libraries and also the Blink libraries. The download link for all the libraries and downloading the ID will be in the description. You can check it out. After downloading the ID, you have to now install the ESP8266 board in your ID. And for that, you need to open your Arduino ID first and paste the URL provided below. You have to go in File, Preferences and Additional Board Manager URL and you paste this URL that you see on your screen. Then follow the path to Tools, Board, Board Manager and then type ESP8266. You will find a board of ESP8266. Click on the Install option and it will install. The next thing that you do is install the Blink libraries on your Arduino ID. To install the library, go to Sketch, Include Library and Add .zip Library. From there, you navigate to where you have downloaded the Blink library and then just add that. The next process what you have to do is go to file, examples, blink, board Wi-Fi, and you have to select ESP8266 underscore standalone. What you have to do is open the ESP8266 standalone sketch and upload it into your node MCU board. After we're done setting up all the libraries and the Arduino ID with the code proper ready for us, we just have to make the connections. The circuit diagram to make the connections with the node MCU and the relays and everything will be right here. And the next step that you have to do is configuring the Blink app. You can download the Blink app from the Play Store or the App Store. The link to download will be again in the description. You can check it out, download it from there. And you have to configure it like this. What you have to do is go to your Play Store or your App Store and you will see this application and just download that. After you're done downloading that, just sign up with your Gmail ID and create a new project. Then click on create option and fill the details last shown on your screen right now. Once you've created the project, an odd token will be generated and this will be sent to your Gmail account. Once the project has been created, you have to insert two different types of widgets into it. For example, I will be adding two buttons from the widget box shown below. After selecting the buttons, click on the buttons and fill in the details like you see on the screen right now. After all the process has been completed, just hit the play button on your settings and your dashboard will look something like this. The board icon shown in the brown circle has one red notification like symbol on it because the app is not connected with the board. First you have to open your Blink registered email account, open the mail from the Blink app which gives you the odd token for your project. Copy that odd code to the odd type in the code box. Insert your hotspot ID password into your SSID and password on your Arduino sketch. Select the Node MCU board and click on upload. Now that the Blink app has been configured, you can use it to send commands to the Node MCU to turn off the lights and fans but we're gonna use the Google Assistant to do that in this video. So the way you do that, you have to configure the IFTPT. The IFTPT stands for if this, then that. So what this will do is take our commands which you give to the Google Assistant, send them to the Node MCU, which will then help us turn on the lights, fans and everything of that sort. All you have to do is say just, hey Google, turn on the lights and it will... Uh, no, no. I'm sorry if I triggered yours. All you have to do is say, Turn on the lights, the fans, and everything of that, so I had to do it. The way you configure your IFTPT is like this. Go to the official website of the IFTPT and sign up with your Gmail account. At this point, the IFTPT will ask you permissions to use your Google account to add voice commands to it, which you simply allow. Click on create your own, and then you will find the sentence. If this, then that. Click on the if plus option. Type Google assistance in the search box. With respect of your input, what output you want from it. So as you can see in the image, we've written what input we will feed and what output we want to listen from the Google assistant. The 
if procedure is now completed now we jump to the that procedure click on that option and type webhooks select it and click on connect now in the url field type the url which you see on the screen this url will be provided in description as well replace your or token your part to the blink or token that you received in the email and digital pin to be updated here part with the digital pin of the node mcu that is to be updated so as we assign the digital pin d1 of node mcu to relay one we must write d1 in place of digital pin to be updated here but we cannot write d1 here because when blink server receives the command from if property it assumes as if the command it received was to be sent on an arduino uno board but in the case we are sending it to a node mcu so to solve this, we must type the digital pin of Arduino, which corresponds with the node MCU. You can find the mapping in the image shown on a screen right now. So as you can see, the image D1 on the node MCU corresponds to the pin D5 of the Arduino. Next, what you have to do is select the method field as put, select the content type as application slash JSON. For the body type one, here one means to turn on. So we are basically saying the blink tab to turn on the relay that is connected to pin D1, which in our case is relay one. Now click on the create action and then finish. Now that that is done, you have to create another applet to turn off the relays as well. You just have to do the same things, but write turn off the lights instead of turn on. And instead of one, you write zero. So that helps turning off the lights. So that we have successfully created turning on and turning off the lights or fans that you are going to use. And that's it. Now you just have to give the commands to your Google Assistant and it will help you turn on the lights and fans. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's a great, good, fun little project, which is not that expensive as well. You just don't have to buy an Alexa or a Google Home for it. You can do it on your own. It's a DIY thing. And if you found this video helpful, leave it a like, share it with your friends. Also, comment down below what other type of projects would you want to see from us. And yes, we're going to come up with a lot more tutorials like project tutorials. So subscribe for that. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.